Well, it finally happened. We finally got some information about Battlefield 2042. What's going on, everybody? Hope you're doing well. Today, we're going to take a look at what just dropped this morning on Twitter and all the information that we've got for Battlefield 2042. Here's what they say. You've waited patiently to hear from us on what we're doing to address the issues with Battlefield 2042 that you've told us about and the direction you expect to see us take in the months ahead. Today, we are stating our team's commitment to bring the game up to the highest standards that we all hold for the franchise. We've heard heard you. So we are heavily invested and committed to the future of Battlefield 2042, working on taking action on multiple fronts to address feedback and implement extensive fixes to the game, key features that are important to you and getting team play where it needs to be. We've had to make some big decisions to ensure that our next set of updates can be focused on delivering these improvements, with the most substantial one being to move the release date of our first season to early summer. This decision gives us time to focus on improving improving the Battlefield 2042 experience while finalizing the development of our seasonal content to ensure that it all reaches our standard for quality. So what can you expect? Here are the upcoming updates. So they say, here's a snapshot of the features we are bringing into the game as soon as possible. Scoreboard. In our next update, we'll be adding a refresh in-round scoreboard alongside further changes we've worked on since the holidays. This will be an ongoing evolution from what was shown in the work in progress we shared recently. We have heard your feedback around including two tables and separating your own team versus the enemy and are working on incorporating that for the release. KD scoring and end of round reporting will also be coming in a future update. All platform voice communication. The arrival of voice communication is just the start of the improvements we're bringing to enhance team play and communications. Player profile giving you a better overview of your career on the battlefield and how far you have to go for your next unlock. For team play, you can expect us to incorporate a cleaner, tighter squad loop, a refined ping system, and an improvement reward loop for when you and your squad play the objective. Gunplay will continue to receive feedback based on improvements too. Portal remains an integral part of the game and will continue to expand its tools, mods, and tweak player experience gains. Finally, we have a team analyzing specialists and working on them. We're not quite ready to talk about actions we'll be taking, but as soon as we are, you will hear from us. A new feedback loop. We're committed to pushing up the quality of the game both through our updates and how rapidly we respond to critical issues in the live environment. We're also going to clarify the direction we're taking and what's motivating our decisions to bring improvements to the game. So expect to get more insight as we expand our existing feedback loops to involve you, our players, more directly. Our team has identified several areas where targeting for improvements. This is how we'll be incorporating your feedback going forward. Number one, we'll present specific major focus areas to you along with our current thinking, detailing where we're planning to make changes. Number two, we'll then take the time to observe and listen to the conversations that you have to go on about both the area of concern and our proposals for adjustment. Number three, later, You'll hear from us on the topic again, but this time your feedback will have been factored into our consideration and guide the decisions made for improvements. These conversations will be centralized and accessible here on the Battlefield website and summarized across our channels. Later this month, this process will kick off with one of our key focus areas, map design. We want to outline to you our vision for how we're going to approach and factor into our new maps enhancements to the gameplay experience by addressing feedback on openness and lack of cover in key areas. Big topics like map design will be loud and broadly shared, but for a more nuanced area of the game, such as portal logic, we may have those conversations on smaller scale. The important part here is that all conversations will happen publicly and with everyone invited to take part. Some of these feedback loops will cover bigger areas than others, and some loops will take longer to complete and release in the game than others. That is not an indication of how we might prioritize issues with the game, but a reflection reflection on the nature of game development. Changing to our maps and core gameplay will take time. Our commitment is to explain our reasoning behind future decisions and to make sure you understand where we stand on your feedback. We want you to see more of the big picture of where we're going and incorporate more of what we're already hearing to ensure that our work is meaningful to you. We'll start this process ahead of the launch of our next update. You'll read about it here on our website when we start these conversations. And if you're already following Battlefield across social media, you won't miss it when we do. 
looking ahead to season one. When season one arrives in early summer, it will mark the start of a year where we'll deliver four seasons, four new specialists, and new locations along with more completely new content. We know that this release is later than anticipated for many of you who purchased the year one pass as part of the gold and ultimate edition. To acknowledge and thank you for your patience and continued support, those players will receive an exclusive bundle containing a specialist skin, weapon, and vehicle skins, a melee weapon, and player card to be delivered in our next update. We'll continue to keep you informed in future updates via the Battlefield Com Twitter account. You can also follow along with our tracking of known issues and game changes that we'll be able to make in real time on our Battlefield forums. We are committed to and focused on ensuring Battlefield 2042 lives up to our ambitions and your expectations. It's a task we're dedicated to accomplishing. And that was Ryan McArthur, senior producer on behalf of the Battlefield team. All right, well, there you go. That is the information. Uh, let me know what you think about it. Are you happy? Are you sad? What are your thoughts? Personally, for me, I'm kind of excited. I'm, 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 I'm disappointed in one part, and I'm, I'm happy on the other side. Look, we're getting some, some major changes with the game. There have been some major changes within DICE. Now we're probably starting to see some of that effect. Communication has always been the key, but they've been lacking here lately. I'm glad things are starting to finally open up. Finally, we're getting some stuff going here. But you got to keep in mind also today was the day for their earnings call. So I'm curious how that's going to go. And if everything goes right today, I'm going to be streaming later this afternoon. So come check us out. Normally we stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But today is a really important day, I think, for the community. And uh, I'm going to be here for you. So jump on in. If it's 1 o'clock, get your butt in here. I'm streaming right now. All right. Well, that's it for me as always. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, bye for now.